In this guide, I'll show you the location of the hammer and chisel and how to defeat the boss that's guarding it. If you want to skip ahead to the boss tutorial, you can click the timestamp in the description. Heading from Falgrim Tower, we'll go to the first Grisha encounter and head out of the second crawl space. To expedite this video, I'm going to be running past all the enemies, but it's a perfectly valid strategy to fight them all. Watch out for the crossbowmen on your right, and keep heading straight until you start to see these rectangular rocks sticking out of the ground. That's a good sign that you're heading in the right direction to the seat of Infinity Temple. Head down this staircase here, down this diagonal slab, and across, and up all of these stairs. Normally there's a bad guy blocking this, you can either try to slide past him or fight him, your choice. Now walk over to the book and interact with it. I ended up using Aerodrim for this fight, uh, but I don't think any mortal shell has a real significant advantage in this fight in particular, so whatever your personal preference is as far as mortal shell goes will probably be just fine. Hadern's special ability in this fight is the Perfumed Sensor. It won't stagger you, but it can do a lot of damage, so you're going to want to harden. When he winds up, a bunch of daggers fly everywhere. Watch out. Hadern will also run and jump at you, kind of dive bomb style. You can roll out of the way, harden, or even parry this attack. Another move I found rather punishing was Hadern's left hook. He will use it on its own or as part of a combo, so you really need to watch that left arm because it happens super fast. Hadern also slams his hammer into the ground, but I think it has a pretty long tail and you can just roll backwards away from it. He'll also swing his hammer either left to right, right to left, or in a combo succession. I found this attack to be pretty unpredictable and easier to attack him at a safer time. A good time to attack is after he does that kind of dive bomb attack I showed earlier, then roll away to safety. I also feel that light attacks are probably your best bet because the hammer and chisel is a pretty fast weapon in general, so you want to get your strikes in and then move out of the way. You can even return the favor with a dive bomb of your own. With the Dern down, you now have access to the hammer and chisel. For more Mortal Shell weapon guides, click the playlist on the top. For other Mortal Shell content, click the playlist on the bottom, and I'll see you next time.